Tonight, one local group partnered with the National Civil Rights Organization to host a panel discussion designed at combating anti-Semitism across the state. News News' Kivan Dupree attended that event and heard from leaders and community members about the importance of this conversation. Leaders of the Charleston Jewish Federation and Anti-Defamation League came together at Synagogue Emmanuel Wednesday to educate and empower community members to fight hate and anti-Semitism throughout the Palmetto State. The ADL has worked tirelessly to stop the defamation of the Jewish people and also to secure justice and fair treatment for all. Local and national leaders addressing the recent rise of hate and anti-Semitism in the U.S. 2019, the polling revealed 11% of the general population had <coughs> anti-Semitic attitudes. And then in 2022, the number left to 20%. Jonathan Greenblatt serves as CEO of the Anti-Defamation League. He says his organization works tirelessly to rid the country of hate. We are deeply, passionately, relentlessly committed to fighting hate wherever and whenever. Officials say data shows anti-Semitism continues to increase in South Carolina as well. From 2021 to 2022, incidents went up about 180%. They say an effective way to reduce this rise in hate is by educating children in schools, both locally. We went from six schools that are doing No Place for Hate in South Carolina last year to 19 this year. And nationwide. I am proud that we reached four and a half million school children last year. And we will keep doing that every single day because, again, it's about ultimately transforming the culture to keep our kids safe. Reporting in Charleston, Kevon Dupree, Count On 2.